If you have purchased a Bull City WordPress listing theme, then you're probably familiar with the iOS and Android applications that it comes with. It's one of the very few directory themes that actually includes a native application that you can build so that your customers can look at your directory from their mobile device using the app that you build for them. And if you've gone ahead and if you've tried to build it, um, then we've hoped that you've had some great success. And if you haven't had any success, then we have a tool that has been built that you can um, purchase that will allow you to have someone build your iOS app for you or your Android app. This, uh, this service is called Will City App Service. Now, Will City App Service is a service that allows for you to submit all of your information that you need, and then they will go ahead and build the app for you. Applications include Android and iOS. Now, they have three different packages to choose from, basic, silver, and gold. And really, depending on what you guys are looking for, it depends on what package you're going to get. If you're just looking for something to get you up and running like a one-time build, then you're going to want to go with the basic. It's $150 per app platform. So that's build your Android app and your iOS app, uh, but you'll take care of all of your app screen, your app icons, your splash screens, and of course, all of your screenshots. This is a one-time fee only, and like I said, it is 150 per app that you wanna build. So if you wanna build both Android and iOS, then it would be 300. If you're looking for someone to take care of all of your app maintenance and you're not wanting to be more, you don't wanna be as hands-on about it and um, you just want to have somebody else take care of it all because you want to focus on getting the business up and running, then silver or gold is going to be your plan. They both are including the same thing, so that you will build the Android app, the iOS app, uh, take care of your app icon and your splash screen, and all of your screenshots for you, as well as take care of any upcoming maintenance that may need it. Now, when I say maintenance, we're talking about things like updates for app updates. They're going to take care of all of the updating the code and things like that so that you can be on the latest version and then they'll just give you the files and all you have to do is just submit it to the app stores. Now the main difference between the two packages is how long you want to do the package and the maintenance for it. So the silver one is per year and at $300 and the gold is $550 for every two years. So they are uh, including the same thing, it just on, depends on how long you want to have the maintenance for. My personal opinion, I would most likely go with one of the silver or gold packages because for those, you're getting the app icon, the splash screens, the Android screenshots, iPhone screenshots, and, and the ones for the iPad, and those all have to be uploaded in order for you to submit your app to the App Store. And doing that, and there's certain specifications that iOS and Android has that you have to uh, adhere to, so it could really be a pain in the butt to go ahead and figure out what those are and you get five of each which is always a great amount um, so I would definitely choose the silver or gold if you're looking to be more hands off with the application and if we scroll down a little bit more we have a little bit of information about the app icons and stuff like that uh, the splash screen so you have an example of what the splash screen could look like and of course are the app screenshots which everyone is familiar with if you go to the Android or iOS app stores you'll be able to see a little bit of a preview of what the app does. So the developers will go ahead and take screenshots using the simulators on their devices so that they can use those to put those into the app store and you know adhere to the guidelines that Apple and Android um, set forth in the in the stores. Now you are going to need Will City for this. This isn't just a regular iOS and Android app. This is specifically for the Will City directory theme. So if you have not purchased that yet, uh, the link is in the description for you to purchase the Will City directory theme. It is a great buy, and there's always uh, new features being added. There's a lot of cool features that are currently on there as well. So you're going to navigate to the Will City app service and let's go ahead and check out one of these packages. We're going to click get started on the silver package and all you have to do is click sign up now and there's a little bit of information and description down here so description of what's going to happen and then some of the items that they're going to need such as your developer account, uh, login credentials, uh, access to your WordPress account and then if you want to design the app logo you'll have to send that to them as well. And if you want to design the splash screen, here's the dimensions they need. And then you just go ahead and 
submit that here. So you're going to click sign up now. And from there, you're going to click proceed to checkout. Now this is where you're going to enter all of your billing details in and it's very convenient. You could just check out with PayPal, which is the most popular option. So once you fill in all of your billing details, you're going to click proceed to PayPal. Now I've already gone ahead and done this. So let's log into the account and we'll see what has to happen after you purchase a package. All right. I am logged into the account right now. I clicked on login register after I've created an account and I'm in the back end right here. So from here we have the dashboard, our orders, subscriptions, if you've purchased one of the gold or silver plans, and then we'll get to a couple of these in a minute. So the apps info is what we're going to need to submit. So go and navigate to apps info. And right here, you're going to submit all of your developer account information. So this is your Apple developer account. You're going to submit your iTunes username, which is usually an email address. And then you're going to submit a password that you have for your iTunes account. And you're going to do the same thing for your Google Play Store, your username and your password. Now the WordPress account is going to be the account for the website of which you've installed Will City directory theme on. And this is usually going to be best if this is an admin account, the developers will log in, make sure that all of the settings are correct on the back end, such as the authorization tokens, your home screen, your mobile menu, things like that. Those all need to be set up. So they will go ahead and take care of all of that. And then of course your logo. So it is, required if you're using the basic plan. So if you choose the basic plan and you're submitting all of this information, you will have to submit your logo. And the logo is really just the app icon. Now for the app icon, get a little creative with it. You can use some gradients. Try not to use a lot of text in your app icon if you're submitting that. Um, it's always best to use maybe like uh, a simple image or of some sorts. Take a look in the app store see what everybody else is doing and then kind of pick something that pertains to your businesses. So for example, if you're doing a party planning business where, you know, it's a, it's a directory of party uh, planners or things of that nature, maybe think of doing some fun balloons, some multicolor balloons of that sorts. If you're looking to do a city directory, um, as whatever specific city you have, maybe they have a, something they're known for. So maybe they're by the water and you want to put a sailboat or something like that. So always get creative with your logo for your splash screen. You're going to want to follow these dimensions right here on the screen. And then from there, make sure that you have, uh, your logo in it and a nice catchy image in the background. You want to make sure that it's, it's eye catching because this is what people are going to see when they first load your app. Uh, and if you're using any of the other two plans besides the basic plan, so the silver or the gold, then you don't have to worry about these because the developers will take care of that for you. Now for this, your contact information, your Skype ID is important because the developers will schedule a meeting with you so that they can get a little bit more information about what you want your home screen to look like. If you're having them build your apps, uh, splash screen or your icon, then they'll need to get a little bit more info from you as well, like your logos and things of that nature. And most of the time, if you're building an iOS app, a lot of times you have to have what's called two factor authentication turned on. And if that's the case, then they will need some confirmation information when they're building your app so that they can type that into the builder when they're, when they're exporting it so that, you know, they can, get all the credentials correct. And of course your email, just so that they can go ahead and contact you uh, through another way and they can send you uh, any additional information that they may need. Now, once the developers are done building the apps, you're going to see something underneath of download apps. And right here, you're going to see a download iOS link and a download Android link. Now this is just a demo URL. This is not what it's going to be called. But this is where it's going to be. So all you're going to have to do is click on this and then it will automatically download into your downloads folder or wherever you have downloads going to on your computer. That's where it's going to go to. And from there, all you have to do is just upload it to your developer accounts and you should be all good to go. So from there, submit all of your application information here once you've purchased the package. And then of course you have your download apps once the developers have built their apps for you you can go ahead and download those and then submit them to the app store. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below, and we will see you next time.